Welcome to My Body, My Bump, My Baby, where we help women be empowered, intentional mothers. This podcast is best enjoyed sipping tea or taking a stroll in nature. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be substituted for professional psychological or medical advice, diagnoses, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician, midwife, or other qualified health provider with any questions about your personal situation, health, or medical condition. When I teach my yoga class, we do something called keep ups. The idea with the keep up is to bring discomfort into the body intentionally. The practice is to learn how to be in discomfort and eventually learn how to stay in that chaotic discomfort and be calm. And we do this as a practice week after week after week to train the mind to settle down in preparation for labor. Keep ups typically are in a position that would cause your shoulders or your arms to begin to burn after a few minutes. And we will typically hold that position for six to eight minutes. Part of that practice is learning how to cope and manage with the intensity within your body and how to keep the mind calm. Sometimes during the keep up, I like to share a little story. It's a story that is inspirational. It's a story to look to when you feel defeated or you're feeling like there's no way you're going to make it. To the end of this keep up. We're not in a yoga class right now, but sit back and enjoy the story. There was a forest fire and the firefighters had worked very tirelessly to get this forest fire under control and they had it mostly contained. They were performing a walkabout to check to make sure that the higher elevations were under control. So there were these two firefighters walking together, moving upwards on this mountain, checking to make sure that the embers were were fine and that there was no possibility that this fire would catch again. And as they moved into the forest, one of the firefighters made a sudden stop and the other firefighter looked up ahead to see what had startled that firefighter and he saw what appeared to be a bird but the bird seemed to be made of stone this was an eerie sight and the firefighter just reflexively kicks the bird over. And when he did that, three little baby birds came scurrying from underneath that mama bird's wings. What a sight. That fire had come through that area earlier in the day. And the assumption is that mama bird was perched up in a tree with her nest, her little babies, three, tucked in cozily. And she started to notice the smoke coming through the air. Of course, like any mother, there would be a moment of panic and a decision needed to be made. Clearly, an adult female bird can just fly away to safety and avoid the destruction of the fire. But she had a conundrum. She had three baby birds. 
who had not learned how to fly yet. So, does she leave the birds and and save herself? Or does she find some way to save the babies? The possibility of saving those babies is almost zero. This was a raging inferno of a fire. But her mama heart could not fly away and leave her little babies there to go through that fire alone. And so she decided she was going to do whatever she could to save those little babies. And at a minimum, they were not going through this fire without their mama. So she gathered one bird at a time and she grabbed them under her little wing and figured out a way to get them down the tree one at a time as the smoke continued to come closer and as she began to start to feel the heat of the fire. Eventually she got all three baby birds down to the base of this tree with no other options but to stand fast as the raging flames came towards her and her babies. She gathered her babies up underneath her wings and cuddled them close to her body and she stood fast and she stood strong as those flames washed right over her. Much later in the day when the firefighters arrived, what they came across was that mama bird who had been petrified by the flames. She had managed to save those three baby birds. Sweet mamas, as you are looking upon labor, remember the story about the mama bird. Labor will not be easy, and there are going to be moments when you want to escape. But remember... You have that precious little baby that you are working so hard for, and you can do anything for that little one. Just dig deep and find the strength of that mama bird to stand fast and bring up all of your might and all of your power 